All right, hello guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about the hot temperatures over the next couple or few days, maybe even more close to a week time frame for the east coast of the United States. We're going to be having very hot temperatures, especially in the north, north of like North Carolina. South of you, it's going to be about average. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we get into the video, though. But before I get started with this, I would ask that you do subscribe. If you do like weather related content, I make all sorts of videos like this. I also made a winter forecast that you should go check out and also check out the links in the description for my social media. Now let's get right into it. Looking at today's high temperatures, nothing too crazy here. You can see a lot of 90s there for the Gulf states, the southeast coast, and then up into Virginia. North of you though, it's only 80s. Uh, some pretty cold temperatures there for Maine actually. We're going to move on to the 17th though, which is going to be Saturday. You can see we have a lot of those 100s popping up from Mississippi, Alabama. Again, nothing too crazy. That is pretty hot, but there's nothing too abnormal going on. Uh, upper 90s for Georgia, mid 90s for South Carolina, mid 90s for North Carolina. It is pretty hot there for Virginia and Maryland and New Jersey as we're reaching 90s for those areas, which is not, which is above average. That's pretty far above average for you guys. And you can see by the 18th, it's even hotter here. Some of those 100 degree temperatures showing up for for Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and into Central Virginia. Just to the west of Richmond, Virginia, I would say there's that pocket of 100 degree plus temperatures. That's probably 103 degrees in there, so very hot temperatures for the 18th. We're going to move on to the 19th, and you can see even hotter for Virginia, so very, very hot. You can see only lower 90s there for the southeast coast and the Gulf states, so not too hot compared to your normal some areas in Kentucky, West Virginia, and Ohio are pretty hot. And then you can see up the East Coast into New England, we have above average temperatures with mid-90s there for Connecticut, Massachusetts, coastal New Hampshire, southern Maine, areas like that. We're far above average for you guys on the 19th. But it's really in Virginia where we're talking about the hottest temperatures here. Not only the hottest temperatures, but the, hot, the highest above average temperatures there as you can see temperatures probably close to 105 actually within that darkest shade of pink. You can see all those number little things are outside of that darkest shade, but there's a lot of 102s, 102s, 103s, 101. So it's very, very hot there for central Virginia. And you can see even Virginia Beach, you can see you're at 97. So close to 100 for a lot of areas in the state of Virginia on the 19th. So very, very hot temperatures coming to the East Coast over the next few days. And again, I was calling for this when I called for a heat wave for the Eastern United States. And a lot of people were like, oh, it's summertime. It's supposed to be hot. Well, it's not supposed to be this hot. And besides, if it's going to be hot, I'm allowed to just make a video about it. Who said I have to make a video about something that's super abnormal? Things can be normal and I can make a video about it still. So that's irrelevant. But you can see by the 20th, Things start to cool off a little bit, though we still have 90s for southern New England into New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, areas like that. But the southeast coast is well below average with 80 degrees, 78, 79, and this is the high temperatures for the 20th. So pretty far below average for you guys, a good relief from the summer heat. Now we're going to move on to the 21st and you can see things are cooling off even more. Still some lower 90s for southern New England and the east coast of the United States. But if, as we move on to the 22nd, you can see colder temperatures are starting to head in to the interior areas of the northeast. We still have 90s there for the coast, but by the 23rd, you can see the northeast coast is significantly cooler with mid-80s being some of the high temperatures, but a lot of those in the mid-70s for New Hampshire, Massachusetts, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, areas like that. So we've cooled off a lot and it starts to cool down even more after this frame. So that'll be when the heat looks to be finally done with and over. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this temperature update video, kind of talking about the East Coast and this heat wave that I've been calling for, breaking it down with actual temperatures and not just comparatively to normal. So I hope that this was pretty informative and helps you guys uh, to, to know how hot it's going to be on each of these given days and be well prepared. As always, drink a lot of water, bring the pets inside. It's not worth the risk. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Stay safe and stay cool during this heat wave.